Welcome to my channel or welcome back. If you are new here, thank you so much for joining us. If you are returning, you already know it. You are fabulous. All right, so today's video, this is some spring DIYs that I've got in store for y'all today. These turned out absolutely fantastic. I ended up using mostly Dollar Tree supplies for these DIYs and I just could not be happier with them. I absolutely love them. This last one was my absolute favorite. So let's just jump right in. All right, so for this first one, I have got three of these little signs that I picked up at the Dollar General Store. How cute are these? They were a dollar a piece. I've also got two tags from the Dollar Tree, and then I've got some of this vinyl that I also picked up at the Dollar Tree. Now, the first thing I did was obviously remove the hangers, and then I went through and removed all of these little stars off of my tags. Now, I literally stabbed myself with that little poker tool from the Dollar Tree. So be very careful with that. That's actually why I left that in there. Just know that it's super sharp. Anyways, I was able to use that though to actually pull the paper off of these um, tags, which was awesome because that saved me from having to sand them down like crazy to get all that uh, glitter off. Now, I did have to sand down just a little bit of the paper that I couldn't seem to get off, but for the most part, it worked out really, really good. And then I wanted to show you all this new little vacuum that I picked up on Amazon. Um, it's actually a Bissell vacuum. It was about $35, so it was a little more expensive than like the little ladybug one or anything. But I wanted to be able to use it also in my car. So it's just a neat little vacuum, but I'll leave that link in the description box for y'all. Now, the first thing I did once I got my tags ready was I cut a piece of this vinyl about the size of the tag, and I'm just going to lay it right over the top of this tag. No rhyme or reason, just lay it on top, make sure that I get all the bubbles smoothed out, and then we're going to cut it so that I can actually fold all of this over. Now, I did have to cut off some excess, but then I went through and kind of snipped it in each of the little points on the actual tag, and that way I was able to just fold it over and it'll just make it look more seamless, you know? It just looks better. So, I just snipped off any excess that I needed to and then just continued to fold this over the outside edge of that tag. This was a super easy project, and it turns out so stinking cute, y'all. Of course, I, I gave it to my mother-in-law because she's she does the buffalo check in her kitchen, and it looks so cute. So, I just thought this was perfect to add to her collection of stuff. <laughs> she may be tired of me making stuff. I don't know. I don't know. Anyways, so I did flip it over and cut off another piece just to cover up that back because it looked you know, it just didn't look too good. So I did cut off another piece and fold that across or smooth that across the back. I then cut a little slit in the center there where our hole was. I actually poked it with that little poker tool and then took my scissors and snipped it. And then that way I could push it through. And then I just used some of the um, excess that I had cut off to actually kind of tape down those edges that were around that um, the hole, and then that way it would look seamless also. Now, the back might not be that pretty, but you know what I'm saying. In the front, it literally looks seamless because I was able to fold that through and then tape it down with those extra little pieces, but I did not get my buffalo check straight. So, just remember when you're doing this to always check it on the front and make sure that your buffalo check is straight, but I'm not going to worry with it. We're just going to keep moving. I took my black chalkboard paint that I pick up from the Dollar General store, and I just simply gave this one good coat. Um, this is the other tag. I just gave it one really good coat of that black chalkboard paint, dried it with my heat tool, and then I'm going to use my sandpaper and go over both tags. So the black one, I wanted to really get the edges. And then as far as the buffalo check one, I just wanted to make sure that that buffalo check was kind of, kind of gritty looking, a little sanded looking, you know, just a little bit worn. Now I use that same poker tool and was able to get the staples out of this, this these little signs in order to take our little um, animals off. So the little poker tool, though it is super sharp, 
it is very handy to have. And now I'm going to save these. I'm actually thinking if I had one more, if I can find one more of these at the Dollar General, I'm going to make a picture with those four of, of the little frames with the um, chicken wire. I think that I could do something really cute with those. But anyways, I just used that little poker tour and continued to get the staples out. I then took my sandpaper and went over the chicken, the, the cow, and also the pig. That way, they would be nice and distressed looking, just look, you know, kind of sanded and, and aged, whatever. Now, I lined these up. The way that you see these, you know, on um, in pictures in Hobby Lobby, say, for instance, or whatever, they usually have them stacked one on top of the other. And I thought, well, this is so stinking cute. <laughs> like, I can definitely stack these. They, they're actually made perfectly to be stacked because their little feet fit perfectly right on top of each other. So anyways, this worked out so, so well. I just added hot glue to the back of my little animals, went through and popped those dudes down. So stinking cute. Ah, I love it. Now I lined it up, figured out where my placement was going to be with my tags. And then I just added some hot glue to the outside corner of the black tag and glued it to the buffalo check tag, making sure that my hole was was lined up. <clears throat> now, I'm going to take some of this um, nautical rope from the Dollar Tree, and this is like the thinner of the two nautical ropes from the Dollar Tree, and I'm just going to double it up and poke it through the front and then pull it through the loop. So, super simple, just make a little loop, and then I'm just going to tie it off in a double knot at the top. So stinking cute. Oh my gosh, y'all. I absolutely love this so, so, so much. Then I decided to add a tassel to it. I just felt like it was missing something, so I made a quick tassel. Now, if you need to know how to make the tassel, I do have a video actually showing you how to make a tassel with the Dollar Tree nautical rope. So I will link that in the description box if you want to check that out. But I just made a quick tassel, brushed it out real quick with my um, comb, snipped it off. Now, I tied that tassel to our rope that we pulled through our, our um, holes in the middle of the tags. And then I'm just going to fluff it out and then take just a very, very, very little bit of hot glue and kind of tack this down so that my tassel stays fluffed out looking. So just very little hot glue and just kind of tacked it down. And then I kind of fluffed it on top so that it wouldn't really look like it was glued down, but it is. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, y'all, this turns out so, so darling. I just absolutely love it. You will definitely have to let me know what you think about this one because I stinking love it. For the second DIY, and definitely one of my favorites in this video, I have got four of these crates from the Dollar Tree. I then picked up four of these like cathedral windows. These came from Pop Shelf, and they were a dollar a piece. I have got some tumbling tower blocks from the Dollar Tree, and then I've just got some small pillar candles that I believe I picked up at the Dollar General store. The first thing that I'm going to do is take some wood glue and some clamps, both from the Dollar Tree. Now, these clamps are so handy to have, y'all. But I just added some wood glue to the side of one of my crates. I took a paintbrush and just kind of painted my wood glue in. I like to do that. You don't have to do that. I just prefer to kind of smooth the, the wood glue out and just make sure that everything is coated. I then place the two together and then add my clamps. So super simple, 
do the same thing to the other two crates, clamp them. I'm then going to paint some wood glue onto the ends of those two sets and clamp the two sets together so that we have four in a row. Now, once those have set up, I gave them about an hour or so to get good and set up. I'm going to take a spray bottle and also some um, elephant chalk paint by Waverly, and we're going to stain these crates. So I like to do it with the spray bottle as opposed to watering down your paint because I just feel like I don't waste as much when I do it this way. But you can do it either way. You can add some water to your paint to create like a stain, or you can just wet your wood before you add the paint. Either way works fine. I just prefer the spray bottle. I then take a baby wipe and wipe it off. Just wipe off any excess paint. Now, we're going to start on the windows. So, I'm going to take these little windows, and I took this little spatula deal that I got from the Dollar Tree, and I just pried the little um, rabbits right off the front of these windows. Super duper easy. I took the string out, but I just went through and did each window this way, and the little bunny popped right off until I got to the very last window. And of course, it had to be a pain. I had a hard time getting it off. And when I finally did, it took off half the paint. So I did have to go in with some more of that elephant chalk paint, which was very, very close to the actual color that was already on here. So it wasn't that big of a deal, but I did paint that in. And then once I got it painted in, I decided that it was, you know, just a little bit darker. And I definitely wanted these to look all similar. So I did go through and just add a little of that elephant chalk paint to each of the windows just so they would all match. Everything would be exactly the same. It didn't take but just a couple minutes to do. It was super easy. I then took my sandpaper and sanded each window and it was the perfect thing to do because they turned out awesome. Exactly what I was going for. Now, now it's time to put this together. So, I decided the best way to do this would be to butt the window up against the crate, add some hot glue directly in the center, and then add one of the tumbling tower blocks to hold this to that crate. That way, there's not a bunch of hot glue going everywhere. You don't see the hot glue because I was afraid if I just glued it across the bottom, you were really going to see a lot of hot glue, and I did not want that at all. So, I just thought that this was the easiest way. You could actually use popsicle sticks if you want. I just thought that the tumbling tower blocks would be a little more sturdy, just give it a little more oomph. So, that's why I went with the tumbling tower blocks, but I just did this all the way across our set of crates, adding a window to each crate. I left a little bit of a space in between each window, now, once we've got that put together, check this out. This is awesome, y'all. I absolutely love this. I decided to add some brown paper to the bottom. It's just craft paper. It's actually old craft paper that I had painted on. Ripped it up, added that to the bottom to each crate, then added in my um, candles, and then took my greenery and started to add that in. Now, I decided to do greenery and candles you could actually use this thing for storage. I mean, you could place your pencils, markers, what I mean, uh, makeup brushes, anything in this. It's that cute. Like, it's so, so cute. But I added in some um, eucalyptus and also lamb's ear, both from Walmart. Now, I like to get my greenery from Walmart. I just think it's they've got the best. But this is so, so gorgeous, y'all. Check it out. Ugh.
this next one, this is so super simple. I have got four of these like finishing sticks from the hardware store. And then I've got a placemat from the Dollar Tree along with some foam board. I'm going to be using Aileen's Tacky Glue. I love to use this glue for projects like this. I just think it is perfect. I add that Aileen's Tacky Glue to the back of my placemat. I'm going to use a paintbrush to paint that on. I just like to get it super smooth, super even, and definitely make sure and get around the edges of it really, really well. That way it stays good and stuck. I'm going to flip it over and stick that to my foam board. I took a baby wipe to get off any excess glue, make sure it was good and stuck. I'm then going to take my sticks we're going to lay these out and find the placement of them so that I can mark it off with a pen and then go and cut them. I did cut that foam board in half also. That way it was just easier to work with. But I lined these up, marked them with my pen, and then I'm going to take them out and cut them down. Now, once I got them cut down, I brought them back in. I sprayed water on them with my spray bottle and then went in with the elephant chalk paint and stained them. I wiped them back off with a baby wipe, just like we did the crates, exactly the same process. Just hitting them with that water a little bit, hitting them with the paint and then the baby wipe. I'm then going to take my sticks, once they're good and dry, add hot glue to the back of them, and then simply place them around the placemat. I'm so sorry if y'all hear the dogs in the background, guys. <laughs> They're all around me like normal. Anyways, I just continued this process of adding that glue to the back of my sticks and then placing my sticks around my picture. Y'all, this cost me like $2 to make and it is so stinking cute. It looks like one of those seasonal signs like from Hobby Lobby or somewhere. So this would be perfect for spring. But I don't want to give $30 or $40 for a sign that I'm only going to use for a particular season. So I just think that this is the perfect way to get yourself some seasonal decor for very, very cheap. There are placemats. There are gift bags. There's just so many different ways that you can create something like what we just did. And those sticks at the hardware store are like maybe two for a dollar. I think something like that. I had those in my stash from a little while back, but they're they're very inexpensive and it looks they look great i love this y'all now i did decide to take some of that foam board that was left over what i had actually cut off from around it and cut it into strips and then just hot glue those to the back of this um picture because that foam board gets kind of kind of wobbly sometimes it gets kind of warped and it will, you know, warp your sign. So I just thought that was the best way to keep it nice and straight. But I love this, y'all. You'll have to let me know what you think about it. Last but not least, and my favorite today, I've got a set of these half beads from Amazon, a cutting board, bamboo cutting board from the Dollar Tree, and then this awesome decal that was sent to me by a very special friend of mine, a viewer. I have got some hot, I mean, a uh, wood glue from the Dollar Tree, and I'm just going to use that wood glue to simply glue down my half beads all the way around this bamboo cutting board. Super duper simple. I went ahead and sped it up because I didn't think y'all needed the full process. I just painted the wood glue onto the back of the beads with a paintbrush. Super simple. Now, once I have that done, I'm going to take my plaster chalk paint by Waverly and a chip brush, and we're just going to dry brush this. 
very, very heavily. I definitely wanted a lot of paint. I mean, I wanted the wood to still show through, but I wanted to make sure that there was quite a bit of paint on here because I wanted my decal to really pop off of this um, cutting board. Although it doesn't look like a cutting board anymore. Nobody would ever know that this started out as a Dollar Tree cutting board, y'all. Oh my goodness. Anyways, once that was completely dry, I'm going to take my little decal. It's already on the transfer tape. That's It was sent to me like this. I, I just love this so, so much, y'all. Oh, I've, I've been holding on to this decal for several months now, just waiting for the right DIY, and I thought that this was it. So I just pressed it down really well. I actually took that little spatula deal that I got from the Dollar Tree and used it to rub my transfer down. And then I just peeled off the uh, tape, the transfer tape that was on there. I had a couple spots that didn't want to stick, which no big deal. You just keep rubbing until they do, you know? But super, super simple. Sometimes you might have to take your finger and kind of hold it down as you pull, but no big deal. This was so, so simple to do. And it turns out so stinking cute. Look at it, y'all. I did take the a little bit of that paint and go over the wording just so it was dry brushed a little bit, but not so much. I then took some tumbling tower blocks, three of them, and actually hot glued those to the back of this so that it would stand up. Now, I did this pretty quickly. I then decided to take uh, my plaster chalk paint again and just dry brush the back of this just so everything matched. It was all completely done. So, so stinking cute. I absolutely love this, y'all. You've got to let me know what you think in the comments. This is my favorite. gosh y'all yeah like I said they're all around me <laughs> they're something else what are y'all doing are y'all sleeping babies oh the poor babies little baby dogs sleepy little dogs yeah they're sleepy dogs you need your face washed what do you got on you oh my goodness they are something else y'all so sweet. Does he not have the most beautiful eyes? Well, check him out. <laughs> All right. I just thought I would share the puppy dogs with you for a minute. They're so sweet. I love how they just lay all over each other. It's hilarious. <laughs> All right, y'all, that is it for today. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I really do hope that y'all have enjoyed each of these DIYs. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. It definitely helps my channel. Don't forget to share it with your friends and family and subscribe. That would be awesome. Plus hit that notification bell so that you will know each time I upload a new video. Truly thank you so, so much, guys. And y'all have a blessed day.